Uh, yes, our beloved students who are there. I know that everyone is at home. We are keeping a distance from our friends. That is the only thing we can do when we keep a distance from our friends. Then, that's when you see me here, who is facing you? I'm trying to keep a distance. No one is near me. It is another day, but today I've come automatically from primary one up to primary seven. The questions I'm um, bringing today, what the questions are brought, they always bring them. Don't forget that these questions, when they are brought, at the end of the day, we are assessed. So the assessors and in the examination of primary one, primary two, primary three. But I believe all of us, we are enjoying. There is one thing I have come with today. If you are there and you're watching me, I brought what we call, uh, there is with me, I have water. I have water with me. This is water. And when you look at my water jug, water is very clean. Then alongside with water, even I have brought soap. So I have water, I have soap. Just imagine what am I going to do. The health workers, they are telling us, the health minister of health, they are telling us that the problem which is facing most of the countries outside, the problem is poor hygiene. So I've come here to teach you about the hygiene and the topic is in primary four. The topic is called personal hygiene. Remember in primary one and primary two, our parents our teachers, our parents at home, they teach us, they bathe us, but at school, the teachers bring things in class for normality. So, I brought this one to you to show that we are going to look at what we call personal hygiene. But the first question, before members, you going to ask me what is personal hygiene? It's the same as they taught us in primary one. It simply means that the keeping of our body clean, or is the general cleanliness of our bodies is what we call personal hygiene. I know you have a pen and a book. Let us write it down. I'm saying that personal hygiene, personal hygiene is the general cleanliness. Personal hygiene is the general cleanliness personal hygiene is the general cleanliness of our body the general cleanliness of our bodies uh, when I'm keeping my body to be so clean I need some items now the ministry is advising us to wash hands but they don't tell us to go and wash hands in sun to wash hands in dust but we need clean water and we need soap. Then we wash our hands very well. When you wash your hands very well, you ever keep clean. They tell us how many minutes? Always they tell us to take just 20, 20 seconds when you are washing our hands. But every 20 minutes we must repeat the same thing. So what items do we need to keep our bodies clean? We write here and say items used to keep our bodies items used to keep our bodies clean what are the materials when you want to remain when you're clean which items do you need to be with you so that you remain when you clean at home there are those ones who are taking care of their younger sisters what you need to be clean so that you you look so nice in the public we need soap we need soap we need clean water i'm not just talking about water when you write the word water you might bring that water the flowing water but i want us to talk about the clean water the water which is free from impurities what else do you need you need a bathing sponge we need bathing sponge to keep our body clean then we need uh, apart from the bathing sponge we need a towel I'm going to you uh, the importance of everything which is here so that we have soap we have clean water we have bathing sponge we need a towel even cutting our fingernails 
are also, we need what we call the, the nail cutter. We need the nail cutter, or sometimes don't use the nail cutter. We sometimes don't use the nail cutter, but we use the razor blade. This one for keeping our fingernails clean. We need the razor blade. Then from the razor blade, what else do we need to keep our bodies clean? We need a comb. A comb for combing hair is also an item for keeping our bodies clean. I've talked about these items to keep our bodies clean, but first imagine. I've kept my body clean, but when I talk, ah, I have a very bad smell coming from somebody's mouth. How can I keep my mouth clean? Keeping oral health. I need that toothbrush. I need that toothbrush. Then from that toothbrush, I need that toothpaste. I need that toothpaste. So we have toothbrush, we have toothpaste. Those ones, when you toothbrush, they move the remaining food particles in your mouth. I've said that the personal hygiene is the general cleanliness of our bodies. Then I came here and I told you something that items used to keep our bodies clean. We have soap, clean water, bathing sponge, towel, nail cutter, a comb, toothbrush, and toothpaste. But just imagine, uh, I'm going to give you simply the uses of each. So, this soap is the one which we use to kill germs on our body and to remove that. Then white eye is clean water is also for removing that. Then we have bathing sponge for scrubbing our body. So that the stains of that which are on our body move off. Then we have a towel. Everybody knows that after bathing, you need a towel to dry yourself. So remember to use a towel when you are bathing. After bathing, get a towel and you dry yourself in order for you to be easier to put on the clothes without wetting them. Then we have the nail cutter. The nail cutter is for cutting our fingernails short. If you don't cut your fingernails in this COVID-19 situation, you will find that you have not cut your fingernails and the coronavirus will enter and hide into your fingers. Even if when you do it, even if when you wash your hands but the fingernails are long, you are going to face a problem still. The other germs which will hide in your fingernails if you don't cut them short, the germs that cause the urinary diseases. When I talk about the urinary diseases, dear candidates, I'm meaning one, cholera, two, typhoid, three, a dysentery, then the urea itself. So those diseases, you'll get them when you fail to observe good hygiene. So the reason why we cut our fingernails short to remove hiding places for germs. Let me pause for this simple question. Why do we cut our fingernails short? 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 You have good answers and I know you want to give me the answers. When I say give me, everyone is there, the hands are up. The reason to why we cut our fingernails short is to remove, we cut fingernails short to remove hiding places, to remove hiding places for jobs. We cut fingernails short to remove hiding places for jobs. Then when you remove the hiding places, it means that you are free. But remember, there are some activities. These are items we do. We use to keep our bodies clean. Let us look at the activities done under personal hygiene. Activities done to promote. Activities done to promote personal hygiene. Activities done to promote personal hygiene. Activities done to promote personal hygiene. 
when you want to promote the cleanliness of our body, I'm going to give you some, then another time, you, as you are at home, you are going to add some. Because I've got what we call soap and clean water, then the bathing sponge, the first activity is bathing. Activities that promote personal hygiene bathing. I have the nail cutter. Another activity is cutting fingernails short. Cutting fingernails short. Or we can call it nail short. Or we can say grooming fingernails. Another activity done under personal hygiene is combing. Combing our hair. That is another activity. Then, another activity which we can do under personal hygiene, because we have got the issue of the toothbrush and the toothpaste, they just tell you that you might keep your body clean fine. The body is very clean. But remember one thing. If you forget to brush your teeth, you will have a bad breath. So you have brushing teeth. Brushing teeth. There is a simple question that might post you. Give to activities that under personal hygiene. Which do not require the use of water. The activities are cutting fingernails short. When you want to cut your fingernails short, you don't need water. Then combing our hair, we use a comb. We don't need water. So for this, lesson of ours which I've just covered now. Remember to answer the questions which I'm going to post for you. After seeing my lesson, after me presenting this lesson, I know for this time you have been following. So I'm going to post very many questions for you. And I love to see everyone answering the questions. Then you post on the number you see. On that is that number you can call, you can go on the WhatsApp and you post on teacher or friend with every number. You post as very many answers which you have written as possible. I'll mark you, my dear, love the students. Remember to wash your hands. We are in a terrible situation. And I'm waiting for you until you come back to school. I love you.